Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christos was grass. Oi is he was grass. Welcome one and all to Dormition Parish. This is the liturgy for Sunday, April 25th. I welcome all of you. Let's pray. Rejoice, rejoice, for Christ is risen. Risen in glory, shall the free. He conquers sin and death for the people. And by his death, he conquers death. This is the day the Lord has made. Christos was blessed, Christos was blessed. This is the day the Lord has made.
protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good and a loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. the first court of the dead. He saved us from the abyss of Hades and granted great mercy to the world. Learning from Peter the chief apostle, he too became an apostle of grace and shone in various lands like the sun. O blessed one, adornment of Alexandrians, through you Egypt was freed from the sea. For you are a pillar of light for the church, enlightening all with the teaching of the good news. Therefore, we face your memorial, O Mark, divinely inspired. As God, whom you preach to all, to grant our souls forgiveness of sins. We received from the high on high the grace of the Spirit, and destroyed the snares of the orators, O Mark, most glorious apostle. You caught the nations and brought them to the Master by preaching to them the divine good news. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, as of old, we raise the paralytic, lift my soul by your divine presence. For by many sins and foolish actions, I too am now afflicted and crippled. Raise me, that being saved, and I pray to you, glory to your power, O most full Christ, now and forever and ever. Amen. Though you descended into a tomb, O immortal one, yet you destroyed the power of Hades, and you rose as victor of Christ God, calling to the myrrh bearing women. Rejoice in giving peace to your apostles, you who grant resurrection to the fallen. For you are God, and only we give glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. saints living in Lydda. 
There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time, she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, who heard that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. And when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then, calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Peace be with you, reader. Wisdom, let us be attentive. They asked him, Who is this man who said to you, Take up your mat and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well, do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. The man waited 
at the side of the pool for 38 years. That's a heck of a long time. But it shows that this man truly believed that this was the place of his salvation. He didn't just give up and say, oh, I'll never be healed and leave and go cry somewhere. He stuck to it. He stayed there and he kept on trying to be the one put in the pool. Yes, I'm sure he was very frustrated, but he didn't give up. All of us, we too have many things in our lives that we know the solution to, but it's not easy. Let us also not give up. Be of strong and good heart because we know the solution to things. And the solution ultimately is unity with God. So let's stay stuck to it. Let us be there and wait for that time where Christ himself will come and heal us and put things in the right order. Slava Jesus Christ! Slava Christos Voskres! Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say... Almighty Lord, God of our fathers and mothers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. And our God-loving Bishop David, for those who serve and serve this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and mothers and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. We also pray for our nation under God, our government, and for those in the military.
May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our most holy universal apostate, Francis, the Pope of Rome, our most blessed patriarch, Santos, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, and our God-loving Bishop David, all the priestly, diaconal, and religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military, the noble never to be remembered, founders and benefactors of this holy church, and all of you Orthodox Christians, now and always and forever and ever. Which is 
poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Give those who 
communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in these holy gifts. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you now, I place before you my whole life and hope, O loving Master, and I ask, pray, and entreat you. Make me worthy to partake in a mystical way and with a pure conscience of your awesome and heavenly mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins, for the pardon of our offenses, for communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence before you, and not for judgment or condemnation. I embrace you as you enter and abide in me, and I unite myself completely to you. Permeate my soul and body, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is such a lips shall cleanse you from iniquities and save you from all of your sins. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Blessed is our God, now and always and forever and ever. Let us commend ourselves and one another and 
and our whole life to Christ our God. To hear us for death. For you are sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. You bless those who bless you, Lord, and you sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to our priests, to our nation, under God, to our government, and to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Mother, of whose patronage we take in this holy church, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and of Saint Mark, the uh, evangelist who we celebrate today, and of all the saints will have mercy in us and save us, for he is good and he loves us all. Christos vos gracias ma. Hart with smart, you smell podolau, eat him stove robash, jet ya daruvau. Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling down death by death. And to those in the tombs giving life. And to us he grants life eternal. Let us bow to his resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Just a couple announcements to everyone. At this time of year, normally we would do our annual general meeting, our AGM. But because of COVID, we have to do it a little bit differently this year. Uh, what I've asked is that we mail everyone a message. We're also going to email everyone if we have your addresses. And we will give you a couple things to review. One is our parish's financial statements. And another one is to elect our parish council. Now this year it's gonna be a little strange because we don't have an opportunity really to to ask people to come forward. So what I've done is I've asked my parish council to stay on for another year. So they're elected even though they were elected a year ago. You will receive in the mail or by email or both uh, a letter that you have to, if you would, uh, say yes I agree or no I don't agree. And if you don't agree, a nice little explanation would be good put your signature and then return it to the church, either by mail or by email, so that we can move forward with our administration and everything that goes along with it. 
Also, I would like everyone to uh, just be reminded that the church still does have to pay its bills. So if you are able to at this time, uh, we of course do accept donations. You can donate it through the mail to the parish, through the eparchial office, or through our own parish website. Uh, and just follow the directions. Of course, anything that you can give would be greatly appreciated. And as always, I do ask everyone to take a look at their bulletin and know what else is going on. I wish all of you a blessed and holy week. Christos Voskres. Christos Voskres.